I'm meteorologist Jordan Young. Now it's time for my 2013-2014 winter weather prediction. Will we see a lot of images like this this year? Let's talk about it. My forecast method, first I determined what the ENSO and PDO phase would be. Then I determined similar years to what we were going to have this year. Then I developed probabilities on what we'll see, either more snow, less snow, average snow. We'll get to all that in just a few moments. First, let's start out with ENSO. This is the El Nino Southern Oscillation. We're looking here at the Pacific Ocean, the Western Pacific Ocean. And you can see right here, there is a lot of cool water right here right now. But if you notice, as we move forward, that cool water seems to be dissipating a little bit. So that means we're moving into a neutral phase of ENSO. And we could possibly move a little bit into a more positive phase of ENSO, which is very favorable for a lot of heavy, wet snow around this area. But we're not really going to be that big of a deal. So this is not going to be a big factor into this year's winter weather forecast. Maybe the Pacific Decadal Oscillation. Let's go look at it. Well, it's in a cool phase. That is not favorable for us to see a lot of snow here in the southeast. But the good news is it's not one of the major players. So we need to look somewhere else. So let's look at the NAO, the North Atlantic Oscillation. It has two phases, a positive phase and a negative phase. The positive, it stays warm and dry here in the southeast. The negative, it stays cool and wet. But the thing about the NAO is it's very difficult to forecast. It, but with that being said, it's a major factor into our weather, especially in the winter season. So we need to really pay attention close to this. The negative of it is we really cannot forecast the NAO much over a week in advance. So this is something we'll have to watch all winter long, and it could definitely be the driving factor of what caused us to have a very cold, snowy winter or a warm, dry winter. And the PNA, this is another oscillation that we cannot forecast much more than a week in advance. A positive phase means we have cooler temperatures. A negative phase means we have warmer temperatures. And just like this, we really can't forecast it much more than a week in advance. So let's, take, let's break it down. United States, near average temperatures across most of the United States with the below average temperatures in the Pacific Northwest and the Northeast with above average temperatures in the Southeast and the Southwest. So above average temperatures through Texas, Louisiana, all the way down into Florida. Near average temperatures pretty much through the whole entire Great Plains all the way into the uh, Southeast. And then we have below average temperatures right here in the mountains of North Carolina. So here it is, below average temperatures, mountains, and along the coast, and near average temperatures right here in the center of North Carolina. Now for the United States, near average snowfall here in the western United States, below average in the south, and then we're going to be kind of in a battle zone right here in the southeast in the mid-Atlantic. What does that mean? What does the battle zone mean? Well, there'll be a lot of warm air and cold air colliding, and anytime that happens, we can get just one big snowstorm that really just causes us to get our whole entire average of snow in one time. So it's really hard to forecast will we see above average snow or below average snow. We're just kind of in that battle zone. Now, while I do think we will see snow, we may not see a whole lot of it, but we'll go with near average right now, above average in the mountains. So here's the forecast. A 60% chance of average temperatures and a 40% chance of average snow here in North Carolina. Now, what are the chances of warmer temperatures? Right around 15% chance of warmer than average temperatures and a 30% chance that we see less snow than average. Cooler temperatures and more snow, that's definitely a possibility. 25% chance of temperatures being cooler than average and a 30% chance of more snow than average. There you go. That's my 2013-2014 winter weather prediction. I'm meteorologist Jordan Young.